I want to talk about church, that place. When I was a child, I can remember walking into a church. It had a smell. It had a, a familiar uh, sense to it. You know, I mean, in other words, I, I'd been there so often. I remember so many memories of there. And there's something so comforting about being in a church that you've been a part of the growth and change that that church creates in people. And it's so sad to me when people will come to me and say, you know, I don't go to church anymore. And I, I would say, well, why? It's so life-giving. It's so healthy for you to be there. And you learn about the love of God. And they look at me and say, well, that's not what I'm experiencing. And I say, well, what are you experiencing? They say, well, it feels like I'm not good enough. I feel like, I feel like I'm always being told that I, I should be better. And then... It's often just good advice. You know, I'm getting good advice. I can get that from, you know, um, a self-help book. And I, I know what they long for, and this is something that I struggle always in, to do in, in the work that I do, because this is not church, but the, what I'm doing now is what church does for people, and that's to preach and teach the truth. And, and when you don't sense something in the message that is life-giving, then something is off. And that means you need to work for finding a place that is life-giving for you. And many people find themselves moving from church to church and looking for that. And that can be a healthy thing. It can also be maybe that they're not really willing to surrender to what they need to surrender to. But, but I would say, you know, if the church is not a place of comfort and life, it should be. And I pray that it always will be for you. Have a great day.